out our poor man's power steering kit is what it's kind of commonly known as they're thrust bearings with uh, thrust washers and uh, they go underneath the spindle between the spindle and the axle and they really do improve uh, effort to turn the machine much easier and also saves a lot of wear and tear on the rest of the steering system as you're reducing a lot of friction a lot of stress a lot of load and they're also beneficial to power steering uh, tractors believe it or not too uh, simply for the fact that it's just releasing uh, relieving some stress and load on the system and they probably do turn a little better i don't know if you feel it so much with the power steering tractors but uh, the benefits definitely there for saving on the rest of the steering components all right so here's your thrust washers i don't know if you can see them or not these are american-made washers bearings we source american-made stuff whenever we can when it makes sense price point to keep keep things affordable for everybody uh, not everything we sell is american made but we uh that's our priority all right so what you do is you you're going to take one of these thrust washers and then i don't know if you can see real well in here but these are all a bunch of little bearings in here and you're going to pack this full of grease and then on the tractor it's going to go sandwiched between these two both the washers are identical and that's that's what it looks like together it's fairly thin and uh it's like turning on ice essentially pretty pretty straightforward and we'll show you the install but i just wanted to show you the kit the kit like i said make sure you pack these full of grease you want a good any any good quality grease will do and then you're going to want to want to maintain packing these with grease we tell everybody pack them depending on hours but once every season or two but anytime you go to grease your tractor jack the front end front end up off so the spindles drop a little bit and you have some play and you can you can open the the, the sandwich up a little bit and uh, pump some grease in there from the side and it'll get in there uh it's not as ideal as pulling them off and packing them some guys have put washer cups on these and and also some rubber boots and stuff um it's it's a garden tractor it's going to get a little dusty and dirty but i don't know if any of that's necessary but it can't hurt to do for sure if that's something you want so again, this is a customer's tractor we're working on. They drove all the way uh, for four hours away down by Philadelphia. They've uh, owned it since 78, the original owners. And they brought it to us to get quite a bit of service work done and go through it. And they picked off a list of what they wanted done. We're going to be adding our heavy duty upgrade kit. And we're going to show you how to take part of the front end apart. And we're going to start with uh, replacing or uh, inserting the four man's power steering, which goes underneath. It goes underneath the axle and above the spindles right in here so the spindles got to get taken out in order to do that got to take the tires off the tie rod comes off there's roll pins up here a couple years have um, snap rings but majority of them are roll pins and you knock the roll pins out and these fall through make sure you got a blocked up jacked up wheel chalked when you're working on it you have to have enough room in order to drop this whole spindle down and there's plenty of room on there uh, and we already took off back over here. We took the steering gear off already. So the steering gear should come off. makes life a lot easier. You can take this off here. And you just have to thread it here as it's uh, internally threaded here and a nut. But usually we drop the steering gear because we do a full alignment and check everything out. So this also has to get removed from this spindle. We're going to start by taking off the tires and wheels. This style's got cotter pins in it. Some styles have snap rings usually there's spacers at least both sides sometimes more all depends how thick they are people kind of monkey around with them over years this one's filthy the bearings are shot usually these come off pretty easy just like that we'll show you coming up how to replace the wheel bearings check on the back side for a a washer I don't believe to be one in here maybe there is actually fire off as well this one's jammed uh, somebody jammed a nail in here we see this quite a bit serves a purpose in an emergency but really not a long-term solution again watch for the washers spacers Been a little while since this tractor has had some good service, that's for sure. Nipex alligator clamps were uh, priors were good. 
These are actually a couple small shims. So next we'll get this drag link off of here that's connected to the steering gear. Most of the time these are three quarter on the bottom, five eighths up here, most of the time. Set that off to the side somewhere. Keep your nuts and lock washers. Then you're gonna do the same for the tie rod. Lock washer hung up on here. Pretty easy. Don't need an impact for these, but it makes the job a lot easier. Normally these tie rods will pop right out. We're going to be replacing these ends also. Now the next part is knocking these roll pins out so these spindles drop. And this can be a two second job or a two hour job. Usually spray them all up. Pin two underneath. Sometimes they'll fall right out. Other times we've got to put them in a press, heat them up. Use their hammer on them. There's a a lot of different different ways to get them out if you're stuck but just remember these are going to drop so don't want your feet under them sometimes these pins come out easy sometimes they come out hard and there's going to be a spacer up here sometimes there's more than one They don't go easy, don't beat the heck out of them because you'll bend these ears. The mushroom this up here. But that one came out pretty easy. Take your spacer. Make sure there's not one stuck below. Same deal on the other side. Sometimes if you gotta get them started, you can hit them with the hammer. Or the punches usually suffice. Usually. using a good quality punch safety glasses these are made use made in the USA there's a, another spacer on here you can see it there we go these dropped out nice no fighting no punching no pressing no heat all right so this is for the snap ring version of retention system for the spindles you need a pair of snap ring pliers really to do it right you might be able to get a pair of needle nose ground down this spindle is going to want to drop right out and stick your snap ring somewhere so you don't lose it. And then they'll drop right out. And make sure your groove is cleaned out in here where the snap ring goes. And then reinstall it the same way. Just be careful these things will snap back and catch you. Make sure that snap ring's in that groove all the way around. And sometimes you can take a the pair of pliers or a screwdriver and just spin it and you know what's in the groove if you can see but it's sitting in the groove here so you're going to want to clean the top of this off good and the top and the bottom carb cleaner brake cleaning anything just make sure there's no caked up grease like that same deal Clean up the, the bottom of this. This one's got washer still on it. You can see that. And what you're essentially doing is replacing that with the poor man's power steering. Let's get all that crud out of there.
just don't want that in the washer bearings and whatnot because it'll wear them out fast. Now when you're done, clean the spindle off quick. Just going to re-grease that anyways. Shoot a little down the axle housing where the spindle goes. Get onto the bottom. And now we're going to do the poor man's power steering. You want to take your thrust washer, a little bit of grease, as long as it's good grease, anything will work. Coat both sides of this real well. And then roll the bearings around in your finger a little bit. Set that off. Just coat the washers both sides. And then what we like to do is take a dab all the way around the top. Kind of work it down a little bit. As your first washer goes on, it's going to put a nice layer underneath. And there you go. Then put it up top. Same thing, another quick dab. I don't need quite so much. Now take your thrust bearing, thrust bearing, press that in there. Then take your extra grease. Roll it around the washer with the bearings on it, on the shaft. And there you go. Wipe down the air extra. And then installation is just reverse of what you did. There. Now you're going to want to put one of those spacers that was in here back in. Obviously clean it up. Usually the thicker one can go up top as long as you got enough room and there's a little bit of play to go up and down. You don't want a lot, but you want a little bit. You can see the hole. That washer will probably work out fine. Or spacer. Clean it up good. Again, a touch of grease doesn't hurt. Keep the rust away. Keep everything moving freely. And you got plenty of room in there if you want to shim it up another spacer you can you want a little bit of play but that probably is enough and if your roll pins in good shape you can reuse it a little bit of grease on there and that's that do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side again. Clean it up real well. Make sure there's no spacers or washers stuck to top or bottom. This is where the washers and bearings ride. So important to be even, level, clean, flat on it. All right, again. Pack the, bear, the washer with the bearings in it, both sides. Spin the bearings around so they get coated in grease. Set that aside somewhere clean. Next, take a, a dab top of your shaft. You can go down a little bit. Coat the washer. As this goes down, you're going to get grease on the bottom and make a nice layer underneath. Repeat, dab of grease, all the way around, and your bearing will catch it, and get it sandwiched in there, cover it up, repeat for the final washer, coat that washer real well. this pretty good now it's going in the axle this will all get pushed down on top of that washer it should slide in nicely 
Then you're gonna have your clean spacer that was up top already. And then if your roll pin's good, insert the bevel in first. To where it's even on both sides. Like that. See how nice that is? Gravity. That's how you do the poor man's power steering kit. And next we'll go on to the other part of our full steering upgrade.